We're having some Halloween fun today with a healthy twist. Kelly Williams is a nutritionist who lives in Berlin and she joins us today via Zoom. And Kelly, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, Lisa. How are you today? I am doing well. Now, I understand we're making jack-o'-lanterns, but not like normal jack-o'-lanterns. That's right, we are making jack-o'-lanterns out of orange bell peppers today so we can stuff them and make a great easy dinner to enjoy on Halloween or anytime throughout the fall. Wonderful, so let's get started. What do we need? Okay, so this is a great, really versatile recipe because you can use any type of meat and any type of filling. But what I'm gonna show today is chicken. You can start with chicken thighs or I have boneless, skinless chicken breasts already in a crock pot. Um, we're just gonna dress it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then you're gonna take some help from the grocery store and you're gonna add a jar of about this size of your favorite salsa. Oh. It can be mild, spicy, medium, whatever you like. So you're just gonna add that to the top. <coughs> and then this is ready. All you do is put your crock pot, your slow cooker on for low for about four hours or if you need to speed things up, you can do it on high for about two hours. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready. Okay. okay. I love the crock pot. And this whole recipe actually can be made in the crock pot. So if you, you know, need some something that's easy and hands off, um, you know, families are busy, you know, some sports and schools are back in session. So it's always great to have some slow cooker recipes kind of in your wheelhouse for those busy nights. All right, so you, you cooked it, um, you said two hours or four hours, depending on if you're doing uh, high or low. Exactly, and, um, and also if you cook thighs, they might take a little longer than the chicken breast. Um, but once you're done, once you've had that in there for a few hours, you're gonna pull your chicken out and cook through, and it's really easy. All you need are two forks, and it just kind of shreds apart just like that. Ah, nice. This sort of breaks up. This, by the way, is great like as a taco filling or over a salad. You can use it a lot of different ways. So if you have leftovers from this recipe, it's really easy to kind of reinvent it. Yeah. Um, use it lots of different ways. So you just kind of kind of break that up into like manageable bites like that. And then kind of set that off to the side. And we're going to get ready to, um, we can actually mix it together with our fillings, which today we have a mixture of rice. And I know this is probably surprising because the rice is black, but I wanted to use black rice, um, which is also sometimes called forbidden rice. And it's just a kind of a variation, but I thought it'd be really fun for Halloween because we're doing orange and black theme. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, I also have black beans. You could add corn, you could do quinoa, you could skip the rice and quinoa and just add additional vegetables. It's really kind of like whatever you want to do. Right. Really right. Simple. And we can mix it right back inside the crock pot because it kind of has all those juices and everything from the salsa still in there. We'll put that in there and we can add maybe a scoop of rice and a scoop of beans. And then we're gonna give it about two teaspoons of taco seasoning. Okay. And you can buy packaged, you can make your own. Um, you don't wanna, you're not feeling the Tex-Mex thing. You can use Italian seasoning, really, really versatile. Okay. So you're gonna kind of mix all of that filling up. And then we get to the fun part, which is working on our pepper. All right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take a little bit of a break right now. And then you're going to show us how you're going to carve a pepper to look like a jack o' lantern. Back with nutritionist Kelly Williams of Berlin. And before the break, she showed us how to make the filling for our stuffed pepper jack o' lanterns. And um, now we're going to learn how to make, I guess, the fun part the actual jack o' lanterns with peppers. That's right, this is where you get to be a little bit creative, just like you do with your pumpkins on Halloween. Um, first things first, sometimes peppers are a little wobbly, 
So for stability, this is for safety also. Give it a little shave off the bottom if you need to, to give yourself a flat base to work with. Um, makes it easier to present, but also just safer. Then you're gonna cut the top off, just like you do with a pumpkin, all the way through. And you kinda need to just clean out the membrane and the seeds on the inside. <laughs> Which is a you lot. don't have to be too precise. Yeah, a lot easier than cleaning out the inside of a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't get those great seeds to roast, but no. that's okay. <laughs> all right. And again, it's it's not doesn't need to be super precise. Okay, so now's the fun part. You get to design, just like with a pumpkin. Kind of find your best surface. Uh huh. And then you're gonna start with a small paring knife. And if you're working with kids, this is a great project to let them help with. But um, the knife skills are are best for an adult on this one because you do have to kind of really get your hands close by. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So you're gonna make eyes and you just pop them out like that and you can make a scary face you can make a happy face whatever you like you get the idea yeah there's one that i've already carved i don't know if you can see that yeah one. The face into it <laughs> that's one that i already did as well once you have the face carved out you're ready to stuff it so you go back to your chicken, your beans, your rice, whatever you want to have inside here, and take a little scoop and fill it up. That is such a great idea. Now we were just, we were talking about to we were talking about the black rice, and uh, you say it's very nutritious. It is. The black rice has some of the same chemical compounds that we see in acai and blackberries and blueberries and the same um, component that makes those fruits so nutritious for us uh, we see that in the black rice as well so it's really great on magnesium and manganese and of course your bell peppers are fantastic source of vitamin c and vitamin a so they're really great to incorporate around the you know any time of year but especially the fall and winter because vitamins a and c really help boost your immunity as well so great thing to try to incorporate more of into your diet. Absolutely. So once your pepper's full, you're going to put them just in a pan of water, um, and not a lot of water, like just coat the bottom of the glass pan, put them into a preheated oven, 350 degrees, for about 25 minutes, and then once that's up, you can pull them out of the pan, give them a little sprinkle of cheese, if you like cheese. Yeah. It makes everything better and then put them back in for maybe another 10 minutes to get the cheese melty. And then what we have for our final product, this is what they look like when they come out. Oh my goodness. So they're really fun because they kind of get little shriveled up, shrunken head faces, which is great for Halloween. That is amazing. Kelly, what a great idea. <laughs> And of course, the whole thing is edible. Um, the great thing about this dish is it's pretty much everything you'd want. You have your protein, you have, you know, maybe you have some rice or quinoa for a carb, you've got some cheese, of course, the whole pepper is a vegetable, so it's, a, it's kind of like a meal on a plate by itself. Um, you could always add more rice or quinoa or something like that if you needed something extra to serve with it, but it kind of has everything as a grab and go. So this is a great, easy weeknight, you know, under 40 minutes, meal that you can serve to the family and it's really fun for the kids too it, it is and it'd be a great meal for for halloween before they go out and collect all their candy that's right <laughs> yeah fill them up with something good first right absolutely kelly williams nutritionist from berlin thank you so much we of course are going to have the recipe on our website delmarvalife.com happy halloween happy halloween <laughs>